In this video, we're going to migrate data from SQLite to Postgres. Now, you'll probably want to do this after you've gotten over creating your first project because the default SQLite database is not designed for production. So if you want to actually deploy your application and give it access to real people, you'll probably want to move to a database like Postgres. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm assuming that you already have Postgres installed. So the way you would access Postgres using the terminal is just using the psql command dash u will access it using the Postgres user. Now, this next command is simply redoing the Postgres default password. By default, it's just Postgres, which is not very secure. Um, so you can run this if you would like to change the Postgres username and password. The second thing we're going to do here is actually create the blog the data database or whatever project name you have. You want to create an empty database. And we're basically going to create an empty database in Postgres and then import data into it. I have this um, Postgres instance open using pgadmin. And you can see that I don't have any databases besides the default ones that are loaded when you install it. So if we run this create database command, it's created the database called blog the data. We'll refresh and we see it here. It doesn't currently have any tables. So if we go into schema and then tables, there's nothing there, but that will change once we import everything. Now we want to check to make sure our settings.py is configured correctly. And in this case, we want to make sure that we're currently connected to the SQLite database. So let's take a look. It's in our Django project, Django, Django project folder for me. And you scroll down, you'll come to databases. So this is what it should look like before you've before we've done the full migration, it's connected to the SQLite database. Eventually, we're going to uncomment this block, but for now, we want to make sure we're connected to the SQLite one. All right. Now, this command will dump the data from our SQLite database into a JSON file. So the way this database migration tends to work is we take all the data in SQLite, export it to a JSON file, and then take that JSON file and import it into Postgres. Let's exit out of Postgres for here, and we're currently in the Django project. We want to make sure that we see this manage.py file, and we can also see the SQLite database is right here as well. Let's run this. And as a prerequisite here, you want to make sure that you're using you're currently Python 3 is pointing to the Python that you're using for your Django project. So let's do a data dump here. And this dot dot slash is just placing the JSON file one folder higher. So I didn't really want it in this folder. I just wanted it in the folder above. And we can see this data dump dot JSON file just got generated and it contains all of the data that's in our SQLite database. Now add engine info to settings.py. All right, so this is the moment where we now disconnect Django from the SQLite database. And let's turn this one on. Now, in order for this to work, we'll wanna make sure we actually have this Python library installed. So you'll do something like pip install, Like that, but I already have it, so just make sure that's installed and that allows Python to connect to Postgres. Now, a little bit about what, what's going on here. This name is the name of the blank database we created earlier. The user that you're accessing it with, the password, host is just saying it's on my local computer. 5432 is the default port. It's everything that you would use in PG admin to, to connect or whatever ID you use to connect to your database is what you're going to put here. OK, so we've exported it. We've commented this out and, and uncommented that part. Now we want to make sure that's installed, and it is. All right, so this is where I started running into issues. And we'll probably see this if I run this command right now. 
and let's try it and just see what happens. All right, so the first error I ran into was blog category does not exist. Now, there wasn't a lot of info here. I'm seeing all the errors are in actual Python code. And I did see a little bit of a um, kind of a clue here where it says category forms dot select choices. So what actually happened here was inside my forms.py file, I was doing something that makes Django complain when doing the sync, the sync DB command. So within my blog folder, I had this forms.py and it contains all of the choices for my blog. And these are the different pages that are able to be accessed. And again, I followed the um, Corey Schaefer's video for actually creating a Django project. So if you're following his videos, you probably have done something very similar to this. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to access the category class, which should exist in the database and access the values here. So the problem is it's this bit of like a chicken and egg problem of it's trying to access the choices, but the choices don't currently exist. So it throws an error. And to fix this, we just comment that out and I'll put back kind of hard coding the choices. And, and what we're gonna do is fix it after we've done the migration, but the problem is you can't have this activated while you're doing the migration or it will complain. So make sure you're not accessing the database in a way like this, like where you're you know, accessing objects. When you actually try to run the sync DB command, it's gonna try to access those objects before they've actually been created. So we'll save that and let's try running it again and we'll see if we get a different error. Again, I haven't really done this in a while, so I'm, I, this is a little bit new to me as well, just in terms of relearning how I fix them. So I was able to run the sync DB, which is great. Um, and that should have created the schema for all of my different tables. And we can check that out. Let's actually refresh here and see, do I have any new tables in my blog, the data? I don't think it actually created the tables. I think it only created the schema for the tables, like the different um, column names and things like that. But we're actually going to have to, let me double check that that's the case. So, oh, nope, it did create the tables. I needed to refresh at the database level. Okay, so it did create the tables, but there's nothing in them. So if I, uh, let's see, um, view edit data first 100 rows. Yeah, so it's querying it and we have these different columns, but there's nothing here. And, and that's really what the sync DB does is it creates all of the tables and they all have empty rows, but all of the columns are in there. Now we did this, we overcame this error. The blog category does not exist. So now we should actually have a blog category and that's what it was trying to look for. But now that we ran the sync DB, we have the blog category. Um, so essentially we, we could go back in here and change this, but I'm going to wait until the end to do that. Okay. So now we want to actually load the data in, and I believe that's what runs into the rest of the errors here. So let's take this JSON file and see if we can load all of the data into the database. So what I would expect if this command is successful is that I should be able to populate data in here and I should start seeing users. I should start seeing categories. So let's run it. Okay, so now I'm getting this error, user profile duplicate key violates constraint. Now, what is probably happening here is there's a problem inside my signals.py file, and this is the key already exist error. So let's check out what's going on inside my signals.py file. And that's within my users folder and signals.py. So what this is essentially doing is this is a way I've configured my Django project to create and save profiles. So the idea is every time you create a profile, it should 
be able to save. Um, but the problem is, is that it's kind of detecting all of these profiles that already exist. So again, we got kind of a chicken and egg problem of it's trying to save profiles and create users, but the users and profiles are already created. So what you can just do is comment it out, comment out any of your post save methods because post save methods will complain when you're trying to import data into Postgres. So I've commented out these post save methods, which are inside my signals.py file. All right, so we hopefully, let's see if we got over that error. So now let's try to run the command again. All right, we're trying to do load data. Okay, so now we got an error. Um, integrity error, problem installing, could not load content types. So this is another kind of tricky error, and this has to do with you have to clear out the content types um, that are kind of automatically generated. And I don't know a whole lot of like what this is really doing, but you'll find in some other tutorials that you actually have to run some commands within the Python shell to delete these content types. And from my understanding, once you complete all the migrations, the content types get created anyway. So we wanna make sure the content types don't exist before we've done the migration. So to access the Python shell, we just run python manage.py and now we're in the interactive console and then we wanna import content type like that and then we wanna delete all the content type objects. So let's delete them. Okay, and it says it's created, it's deleted the auth permission and, um, and some other stuff. So that looks good to me. So let's exit out of that. And now I hopefully think that was the last error I ran into. So let's try now a third time to see if we can get these um, imported. So we'll take the load data command and let's run it again. Now that we've deleted the content types, sick. Okay, we got 319 objects from one fixture. And now let's just check out like, what do we wanna see? I wanna see my blog posts. So we will view the first 100 rows. Okay. So these are all my blog posts that are on my website and everything is looking pretty good. And I believe everything has been imported into these tables, um, which is great. Here's, let's check out my IP person table and I will view, do, 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 first 100 rows. Yep, yeah, so we've got all my people here. Okay, so everything got loaded into Postgres and I've, we kind of overcame all these errors. So let's actually go back through and, and fix our app backup. So we're going to, you know, save the uncomment things we did in signals, inside forums, we were hard coding the choices. So let's actually stop hard coding them and actually access it directly from the database. And we did that, our settings, everything looks good here. Let's just double check everything. So blog category does not exist. We changed the fetching the fat categories. Um, content types, we fixed that. And then we also fixed the save methods and signals.py, we uncommented those. So everything looks pretty good to me. So I'm hoping my app is now working. So let's go and try to run it. All right, so that's, it looks like it's running. So I'm gonna pull this over and see if I can show you guys. Oops, a doops. Oh man, I'm gonna have to minimize my windows. All righty. And here's my blog site. And it's running on port 8000 and we can see my blog site is up and, and going. And right now it's using everything inside my Postgres database instead of SQLite. All right, well, I hope that was helpful to everyone and solved all of your problems in trying to migrate data from SQLite to Postgres.